Wellington Halton Hills. Mr. Speaker, Canada, like Ukraine, shares a border with Russia, our Arctic. We no longer can afford to take our sovereignty and security for granted. Russia considers the Arctic to be its most important theatre, its most important region, and has spent considerable resources over the last decade building up capabilities there. Will the government now act urgently to protect Canadian sovereignty and security by purchasing the F-35 jets, by fixing our naval shipbuilding program, and by immediately modernizing NORAD's early warning system? The Honourable Minister of Defence. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank my honourable colleague for raising the issue of Arctic sovereignty, which our government takes extremely seriously. We are making landmark investments in this area, conducting joint exercises in the Arctic, purchasing six Arctic offshore patrol ships, enhancing surveillance. We will remain firm and unwavering in the protection of our Arctic, Mr. Speaker, including in modernizing NORAD. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The honourable member for Wellington, Halton Hills. Well, Mr. Speaker, the government is participating in joint military exercises between the United States and Scandinavian countries that have been taking place over the last year in the Arctic. Mr. Speaker, Russia supplies 40 percent of Europe's natural gas and uses this to threaten European democracies by threatening to cut off gas. Canada is the fifth largest natural gas producer in the world. Will the government now commit to fixing our broken pipeline approval process so that we can get new pipelines built to Atlantic tidewater, so that we can come to the assistance of European democracies by replacing gas, Russian gas with Canadian natural gas? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. The current situation in the Ukraine certainly underscores the importance of energy security for Canada and for its allies. We are working very closely with our colleagues in the United States and in Europe to address uh, short-term energy volatility, but also to explore long-term energy options. 